Hey guys, so today we're just going to start with the Rihanna's Fenty Beauty Foundation. I'm only using a light amount on her face because she doesn't really need a lot. But you can see I go in with the mini beauty blender because she has smaller features. And I'm just going to go around her nose, her cheeks, her chin, her forehead. I'm just blending everything together, making sure there's no streaks and it doesn't look any cakey. I'm just making sure it's all blended going around everything and then I sped it up so you don't have to see the whole process on video. After this we're going in with the wet and wild loose setting powder. Basically just setting in everything so it also doesn't look too shiny. Going around everywhere where the foundation was, just blending that in. I'm using a medium sized blending brush for this. After this, you can see she started doing her own makeup. And then we're going to go in with the light blonde eyebrow powder. Just defining her eyebrows and making the shape a little nicer. I'm just going to do this with a small angle brush. And then I'm just going to brush it with this spoolie to make sure everything is blended together and nice and even. Going in on the other side, making sure that it matches up with the original side. Again, just going over lightly, defining, and brushing it out so it's blended afterwards. After this, we're using the Huda Beauty Rose Gold Edition. I start with the light cream to blend in the powder that was on her face before and just setting a nice base for the colors I'm going to use after lightly blending it with the blending brush on each side and you see I go in with a more defined brush after and I start just packing it on a little better with the light pink After this, I go in with a little bit of a darker pink and just start blending it more because the other color wasn't really showing on her face. Making sure it's even on both sides. You use the same amount of pressure and the same amount of product so one side doesn't look better than the other. Here I am again just blending everything together once more before I go in with the next color. Here I am using Shade Shy and Sandalwood to blend in together. Make sure the pink is not too bright. I'm using a brown to go over it. You can see that. And just one last touch of blending everything together so there's no excess product on one side. And once more, blending everything together. After this, we're just going to add a little bit of shimmer to make the eyes pop a little more. The shade is called Moon Dust. It's like a light champagne with a little bit of glitter inside. I'm just pushing that all over her lids with a flat brush so it's getting packed on easier. After this, I'm going in with a blush from LA Colors, sweeping that across the sides of her face, making sure to blend that in after, because I didn't blend the first side in. Blending it in along her cheeks, so it doesn't look too prominent on one side. And here I am with an Anastasia loose highlight, going over the parts of her face. I need more definition, I need to pop. 
like her cheekbones, the middle of her nose, and a little bit above her eyebrows, and even some on her cupid's bow, making sure it's not too bright. I'm also doing that with a light, medium-sized blending brush. You could wet it before you do the highlight, but you don't have to. It just makes it a little more defined. And here I am using a KKW Light Nude Lipstick on her lips. Outlining them first and just brushing it along the middle. She was mad at first, but that's the finished look.